everyone welcome back to another video so today I wanted to kind of showcase a uh, an update on DCS uh, retribution so today we are we are looking at a an early beta of version 1.2 um, and this this particular beta has Sinai um, support and so I actually built a Sinai campaign it is a traversal across the entire map um, it does need a little bit of tweaking probably and some other things because it is a uh, it is a, a bit of a spicy meatball as it pertains to needing quite a bit of horsepower to run. Um, so we're going to take it out for a spin today. I have not played it yet. Um, I did put it together. Uh, Rafson, one of the one of the developers, actually helped quite a bit. Um, and um, and yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we don't have any F fifteen E content yet uh, I did, did download it but uh, we'll have that soon and um, and hopefully the uh, DCS retribution folks will have the f15e uh, added into the beta soon um, I'll probably be trying to help them with that so without further ado we'll go ahead here and take off and we'll see you just a moment in game all right we are in so we're gonna go ahead and get set up here um, so this campaign that I've kind of put together here, uh, we'll, we will have some um, some videos on uh, how to create campaigns. I know that that's been asked for a couple of times. Um, don't have that quite yet, but it's really not that hard. Um, I think what's probably going to be hard is getting balance right, and being happy with it, um, and I'm definitely not there yet. I'm definitely not an expert. Uh, but this campaign is pretty interesting, I think at least. Um, it's a fictional scenario where uh, hardliners in Egypt after the Arab Spring kind of take over and decide to go and, and invade Israel. And so the whole map goes from Cairo all the way up to Tel Aviv. Um, and you got to kind of go through all of it. So that's kind of interesting to me personally. That should make for a very long, drawn-out campaign. Um, and I've tried to make sure that the modern uh, Egyptian military assets are included in the uh, are included in the faction, um, with some art artfully taken choices some some artistic liberties I did I did take um, just in order to kind of keep things a little bit balanced um, and some state and some stand-ins for things that DCS didn't have all right I don't want to listen to the tech in turn our symbology on we do need to go and set our bingo our goal today is to hit a SAM site with harms. We have four harms. Should be interesting. We don't have a ton of fuel. And I have... That is also interesting. Okay, so the buttons on my mouse got remapped somehow. It's all right. All right, we'll let him take off first, and then we'll follow him.
lot of Sam's in theater and in in area. Let's go ahead and turn our lights off. Let's go ahead and set master arm. Set our center tanks up. Just so we know what we're looking at here. It looks like front line over there. And that looks like our target over there. So we need to go ahead and get PGM, that PGM-5 down. sites are angry too. some more harms, we're going to go back out and try again. Ooh, that was a little harder than I wanted it, but that's okay. Make 
sure that we're actually on a runway that is yeah we're we're good we're good all right let us grab some ordnance fuel we're gonna need tracers yeah request refueling rearming complete all right let's do it We're gonna go to air to air. Oh, Sam launch.
transmitting. seems to be pretty good although I will admit I have calling on and uh, it is it is a, uh, a taxing mission I know my uh, my buddy Rafson he played this and he said he had a little bit of trouble um, and I, I'm not though which is surprising also not intended, but that's okay. I'm a little rusty. Been been on the beach and on vacation mode for too long. Alright. Alright, we're going air to air to ground mode. The brakes here. Turn on to runway. PG-4 
GM2, Magnum. It's always good when you're hitting things. He is at 5,000 feet on I think this is where we're going to call it for today. Uh, that was a fun little sortie. Looking forward to playing more on the Sinai map. Let's go take a look at the damage. All right, so mission debrief here. We've got eight aircraft were destroyed, 50 frontline units, and 22 ground objects. So let's go ahead and accept those results and see what happened. All right, we lost two Eagles, some ground units. They lost three MiG-29s, three F-16s, a bunch of ground vehicles. They lost three Patriot, search and track radars. Wow, they, they lost quite a bit. Click OK. Let's take a look. So this Hawk is still operational. This Hawk is operational. This Patriot is not as operational as it used to be. That's helpful. So yeah, I gotta say, this has been a, a pretty successful sortie. I'm looking forward to playing more of this map. Probably put together a series where we go from one end to the other and take a look. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.